the array for each method executes a given function on every element from an array. This sounds complicated, so let's see how it works in code. We have a numbers array containing all the numbers from 1 to 5. And let's say we want to console log these numbers to the console. We can call the foreach method, which requires a callback function. That callback function will be given three parameters. The value at the current step on the loop, the index, and the array which is called upon. So let's create a function and give it here on the for each as a callback. Function, let's call it console item or something like that. So we get the item, we get the index, and we get the array. Usually, you don't really work with the array, but well, it's good to know that we receive it. And here we can do console.log item. Let's pass in now this function as a callback here and see what happens. Look at that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We also get the index, so maybe let's say something like A of item plus closing is equal to something like index. Let's see what this does. We can say that a of 1, oh, it's the other way around. So A of index is equal to item. Okay, my bad. So we can see now A of 0, so the element at index 0, it's 1, element at index 1 is 2, and so on and so forth. Now, we can also provide this function. We can actually write it as an arrow function. So let's do that. I'm going to copy this and put it inside here in line. Uh, and convert this to an arrow function and now it should do the same thing but it's here um, in line usually this is how we would write a function for the for each especially if this function is not called again let's also console.log the array so you can see what the array stands for basically is the array on which is called upon Let's see also some other ways we can use the for each method. We can use it to calculate the sum of the numbers from the array. So for that, let's have a sum which will be initialized with 0. And here in the for each, we can call sum plus equals item. So keep in mind that this is every item from the array, starting from the first one. We now don't need this because we're not using them. We can also remove the parentheses because we're having an arrow function. And let's uh, console.log the sum. Save and look at that, we have 15. All the numbers are added up. We can even add 10, 15, 25, and the function now works the same. We get 65. Another use case for this method is, let's see how many times a letters appears in an array. So we're going to have an array of letters. Let's see A, B, A again, B again, C, D, and A again. Something like that. And we're going to create an object which will keep track of the count of every uh, letter. So let's create an object here, count. And now inside of the for each callback method, we're going to do something interesting. We're going to do the following. If the count of item, if we have a property inside the object with the item, meaning A, B, or C, or D, then what we want to do that count item value to be plus equal one. So we can also do plus plus. Else it means that we don't have that property already, so we can initialize it uh, with one. Let's console.log this count and see what we get. Oh, my bad, I called it upon the numbers array and we changed it. So let's call it now. You can see that we get nicely an object with four properties, A, B, C, D. And we get 3 for A, 2 for B, 1 for C, and 1 for D. This is a nice use case of 
the for each method.